Hi Saggies, it's Leonore. Welcome to Soul Searching Tarot. Um, I miss you guys. Um, thank you for stopping by. Um, thank you for coming by. If you're viewing me for the first time, I do integrate astrology as well as tarot card reads and spiritual messages. So Saggies, today I'm going to do your general tarot card read, okay? So um, if you're looking for your love read, I already did them. All 12 zodiacs are done. They're there, okay? Um, love reads is something that I do while you wait for your general tarot card reads, okay? So the general tarot card reads are a little longer than the, than, than the love reads. All right. Um, today, um, I'm going to be using the Mermaid Tarot. And I'm going to clarify it with my Wildwood Tarot. Alrighty, let's get started. Alright, Saggies. So I have the Sun. I have the Moon. And I have the Three of Wands. Um, so the only one in the, uh, in the reverse is the Moon. So somebody's hiding their feelings. Um... Even though they're very happy with you, um, they're waiting to unite with you. Um, but there's something about the Three of Wands that's giving me more info. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so um, these three cards together, um, you know, someone is very happy with you. But when I see the three of wands, they want to reunite. So obviously it's someone that you separated from, right? Could be um, the parent of your child. Um, nevertheless, it's like they're very curious. Um, they, if, yeah, you separated from the... I mean, I just started the reading. So it just... With the three of wands, I really pick up that you separated. All right, whatever. Moving on. With the sun, um, I see um, that they're very curious about what you're doing. Okay. Um, but I do sense some playfulness between the both of you. Be be God, please forgive me. I don't know what's wrong with my speech today. I do sense that um, there is some playfulness between both of you. Um, when you were together if you're separated now um, for whatever reason um, if you're the type of couple that goes back and forth you know break up make up break up make up um, I'm talking to you okay or an ex it could be an ex um, yeah those are the things I pick up they research you could be the parent um, of their child you know um, I know there's children here in common, or if it's not in common, you know, someone has children from a previous relationship, and they and you do, at the end of the day, they were happy with you, or, you know, if you're friends, because I feel like some of you are friends, um, you just make them happy. Friends meaning, even though you separated, you stayed friends, okay? Now, this person is hiding their feelings for you so this is what I mean like a lot of you are, are not together um, this person um, loves music loves music they might have even sang to you um, you know not not like seren serenade you know <laughs> I don't know do people still do that um, I mean I guess so right if they're like a professional singer uh, of some sort but um, they love music they love it's like they listen to music and, and 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 half the time it does remind them of you um, but you don't know that they're hiding such deep emotions for you this person um, has some um, problem with the uh, solar plexus solar and sacral um, chakras um, yeah, they hide a lot of things um, in for whatever reason. Um, they may have problems with their um, digestive system or somewhere around the... Um, 
it could be a medical problem or it could be a chakra problem sacral as well let's they may have um, a groin you know some sort like that you know what I mean um, or a groin in um, you know the uh, groins you know they do they do grow in a couple of places or so right so I'm just throwing these things out you know it doesn't have to be that specific thing if it doesn't resonate move on um, yeah, so with the, with the three of wands, yeah, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm just sensing, you know, it wasn't the reverse, and, 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 and they're waiting to reunite, okay, reunite, nothing more. Um, again, you know how she's looking at, like, this fire pearl? Yeah, it looks like a fire pearl to me. You may be dealing with a fire sign, it doesn't have to be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but, <sighs> Even water placement is here. Uh, anyway, um, it, I don't know why, but I feel like you broke up with this person. Yeah, I think for a lot of you, you were like deuces, you know what I mean? Like goodbye. And so, um, it doesn't apply for everyone maybe it could be it could have been a mutual breakup um, or maybe they just left you I sense that if they left you you this is your energy but I, I'm just sensing it I could be wrong um, for some of you okay but like the three of wands in the reverse it's like again you don't know that they're waiting for you to reunite Actually, actually, I'm sorry. My three of wands was not in the reverse. The only one in the reversal was my moon. Same energy, though. I pick up the same energy. Um, all right, let's clarify it. So I have the um, hair font. Five of pentacles. Um, eight of cups. And the fool um the fool yeah yeah um okay um something about the fool this was the last card um in the first spread clarifying the first spread um they're coming towards you um this person this person can be younger than you vice versa if it's vice versa um and for some of you you are speaking to this person anyway but you see how his back is turned I, I don't know if it's a boy or girl, whatever. It doesn't matter. It is gender-free here in the tarot community. So if you do see a depiction of a um, specific, you know, masculine, feminine, or whatever, gender, um, I'm not talking, you know, about a specific gender, okay? It's just energy that I'm picking up. But if you could see, I, I mean, I know you see, the, the full card, this person's back is, turn, is turned, you know, um, it looks like, I don't, I mean, usually the full card, you know, they're about to fall off a cliff, you know, in this case, this person is, is about to fall off, um, you know, like a small rock or uh, some type of rock into the water. It's not that high. It's not that high. I mean, if he falls or she falls, um, you know, worst case scenario, you're get wet you'll get wet or swept up by the currents, you know, you'll survive. Um, this person wants to come to you and express their feelings. And, and it's like surrender. That's the point. Bingo. That's the word. Surrender. Like, you see how they have their hands out? As if someone was like, you know, surrender, we, you got caught. <laughs> um, I don't know. There's something about this person that they're, that they're hiding, Saggies, besides their feelings for you. 
you may live around a wooded area but i mean <laughs> again it's not for everyone um you know like a lot of greenery um but then again i'm using my wildwood tarot um yeah so let's see the hair font <sighs> The Five of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups. Um, my Five of Pentacles was the only one in the upright. Um, besides the Fool card. Um, I feel like someone ghosted someone else. That's for a portion of you guys. Um, with my Five of Pentacles. My Eight of Cups in the reverse, um, I see that specifically with these two cards. It's like, ghosted. I mean, yeah. who am I talking to? Saggies? Oh, yeah, Saggies. <laughs> it could be vice versa. But, um, yeah, Five of Pentacles, um, they're trying to figure out what happened. They're still, they're, they're still burning a flame for you. Do you know what I mean, Saggies? Like, they're... <laughs> This, they're, they're hoping that you come back. Isn't that cute? Like the little girl is like, okay, I'm just waiting for that person to come back. I, I'm really hoping, wishing, let me just, you know, start a fire. Um, so when that person comes back, you know, they could be warm, you know. There's lightning in the background. Um, there's so much emotions, even though this is a pinnacle card. There's a lot of emotions. Um, this is my Eight of Pentacles. Um, it was in the reversal. Yeah, you're not trying to come, go back to this person. You're like, yeah, I, I remember I said goodbye? Um, and so the hair font was the first card out of these clarifiers. It just tells me that um, someone's a teacher, uh, some type of teacher um, of some sort. It doesn't have to be. It could be a professor. It could be... Um, <sighs> You know, some, you know, you might have taught this person, you know, some things. Ooh, better yet. You taught this person a lesson. Usually, actually for the most part, when, when a relationship um, is karmic, it's usually um, someone teaching you a lesson. You, specifically you, a lesson. Um, if it's the other way around, of course it's the other way around. It's whoever did someone dirty. Do you understand? If they did you dirty and you, you, you're not together anymore with my hair font, um, they, they, it was a karmic, you know, situation, especially, you know, if you've been together for quite some time, which I do sense, you know, um, yeah, I don't sense that it was under a year. If it, and that... I don't think the relationship was under a year. Um, I mean, if it was, it was a very heavy connection, like heavy. Like you just gravitated to each other immediately. Um, you know, soulmate energy, you know, I want to say. But, um, yeah, this person went through some karmic. I almost feel like both of you because that's actually that's how it really goes somebody here may be a Scorpio I'm, I don't know why I'm picking that up um, it is the um, what is this the ancestor I'm the an well they call it the ancestor interesting that they call it the ancestor in my wildwood tarot yeah I, f I sense spirituality as well somebody may be very spiritual um, you know spiritual yeah Ancestors, when I when I see the the ancestor on this particular card um, in your reading, um, you know, besides the characteristic traits that I had mentioned, um, you are intuitive. You're very connected to your ancestors, spiritual guides. All right, um, I'm just picking up these spiritual traits. It's not for everyone. But yeah, you were together for quite some time. I think that both of you learned a lesson from each other through this breakup. Some of you, you know, are still friends in some shape, form, or other. Um, either way, they're still hiding emotions. 
Yeah. It's just like with the Eight of Cups, someone walked away, someone ghosted, the other one is like, what happened? Or, you know, again, you know, for a group of you, you may not even be talking about, you're not, you're not communicating with this person. All right? I hope that makes sense. Uh, um, you know, sometimes readers pick up so many energies. Um, one, two, three, you know, energies and, and, and readers go back and forth. Like, okay, so if it wasn't this situation, it was this situation. Because there's a lot of people looking at, at this um, video, right? That wants to resonate with the, the, the reading. Am I correct? So, um, not a lot of readers, but I, I you know... <sighs> There are readers, um, for the for the most part, are I wouldn't say for the most part. I said I would say half the readers, and you know what? Don't quote me, but they'll pick up different energies. Do you know what I mean? For different groups, sometimes it re the whole thing resonates. It, it, it could be going back and forth with the same three or four cards, and it's like a three stories. Do you know what I mean? So it it, it it's either talking about different groups. Or for, for a small group of you, it's like all, all, all of the above, all right? Um, I, I don't know why I had to say that. I'd never say something like that. <laughs> I just feel like there's a few people that, or, or at least maybe one person asking, like, um, it's, not, it's not a direct reading. And usually it, it really isn't. There's a lot of people watching. Let's move on to the second spread. All right. Um, what do I need to fix this? All right. Um, second spread. Let's see the full card. You know, the, I forgot to put the full card in my um, clarifiers. I'm gonna leave it out. I don't know why. I <laughs> this. I'm telling you, this full card is has a, a a lot to say. A lot to say. Anyway, second spread. Um. Two of Cups in the reverse, Ten of Wands, and Three of Swords. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. This, let me tell you. This fool has a lot going on. It's funny when I say that, right? It, this fool. Um, but it, it reminds me of the moon card, you know, when I was saying that this person likes to listen to music that reminds you, me, reminds them of you. Um, they may have some type of issue, um, you know, sacral, solar plexus, or even medical, um, There's, there is some type of issues mentally with them. It could be one or two things. Either they do have mental issues, which could range in, in many forms, right? OCD, anxiety, um, you know, plus, 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 the list, go, list goes on. It doesn't have to be like, you know, a social path. Uh, if it is, it's, it's for, you know, maybe one or two of you. But um, I, I feel like I am talking to like a couple of you, though. This ex could be a sociopath in some shape, form, or other. Um, I mean, not that I'm saying they go killing people, but they may burst out in anger. Or um, worse. Anyway, I don't know. I, I'm picking up a lot of things with your read. Yeah, so this is this person, right? This is my fool, okay? All right, let's, let's get away from the fool because we already kind of clarified it. But, um, yeah, so my two of cups was the only one in the reverse. <sighs> they feel betrayed by you. I don't think they'll tell you this, though. This person is very hush-hush. Especially when it comes with... Um, especially when it comes to their feelings of... Uh, between you and them. Now, I'm sure they I'm sure they express feelings, right? You wouldn't be together if they didn't express some type of feelings. Um but I'm talking about afterwards, after you guys broke up or you know, separated at the moment. Um they want to tell you more than they're leading on. Um and that's what I see with my two cups in the reverse. 
they feel this way, but you think they feel this way. And, and this is heavy for them to carry this, all these, you know, passionate um, emotions for you. You know, when I see the Ten of Wands um, or the energy that I pick up from the Ten of Wands, you know, you see this mermaid carrying all these wands. Um, hard worker. I do sense somebody is a really, you know, hard worker, um, has good work ethics. But um, I kind of feel a little sorry for her. Um, because she's carrying these ten wands, but those are, you know, mental issues, emotional specifically, even maybe medical. I, there's a lot going on in this person's life. Um, baggage. Baggage is one of them, if not all of the above. But I do feel sorry for this person. I... Of, of, you know, Ten of Wands looks like this depiction, right? There's something sad, though, about the Ten of Wands in your reading. Um, with the Five of Swords in the upright, um, yeah, they feel betrayed. And other people know about it. You see how um, this specific mermaid, um, I hope you could see, you could see it. This specific mermaid, she's, um, looks like a she or he, it doesn't matter. It's a mermaid. Merman, mermaid. The, the beluga whale, or just whale, I, I don't even know if it's a beluga whale, if I'm even pronouncing it right. The whale, you know, got washed up, um, ashore. And... I'm sure a lot of you know when a whale or any type of sea animal or sea mammal gets washed up in the shore, they, I mean, for crying out loud, their their air is water, you know? Um, I mean, mammals and, and some other, you know, creatures could rise up for air, but there's, you know, I'm sure a lot of you have seen whales washed up on, on shore and they can't get back to the water. They're stuck on land. And they die. And so this person is crying. Um, this mermaid, um, you know, this is the person they lost. I'm not saying you're a whale, Saggies, but, you know, you get my story, you get my drift. Um, there's a couple of people that are, you know, they're kind of surprised. They're like, yeah, I mean, you know, if they're not consoling the person that lost um, you, because I'm, I'm just referring to the picture but if I'm, I there there's a couple of people that they trust um, and um, and they you know they speak on on their emotions for you they they may not tell you but they talk to other people that are close to them and and how much they miss you how much they feel sorry that they lost you blah 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 there's three swords right here even though this is my Oh, shoot. It is my three of swords. Um, it's so funny because I was about... I, I know I said five of swords. But um, when I saw three swords, I was like, one, two, three. This looks like a three, swords, three of swords. Um, you know, broken hearted. It is my three of swords cup. Um, three of swords cup. Jesus. Like I said, forgive my speech today. I don't know. Whatever. I've been like that all day today. Sometimes I'm like that <sighs> every other day. Let's clarify it. Um, I got the emperor, the sun again, the hangman, and um, my eight of swords. Okay. Again, I feel my eight of swords has a lot of energy. Um, um, and I'm sorry. I don't know why I said hangman. What I meant to say, the hermit. I... I Okay, whatever. This is a hermit card. Um, let's see what's going on up in here. So um, we got three majors, three majors, and uh, at the bo uh, at the you know the last card is eight of swords, but it's in the reverse. Yeah, anger. 
I'm picking up anger with my eight of swords in the reverse. It's almost like they got left behind. I said, didn't I say someone feel like they got betrayed? Maybe for a small group of you, you, you were betrayed. Or this person felt betrayed for whatever reason. It, I, you know, you could have been like, you know, I, I think we need to be separated for a while. I need my space, whatever, whatever. I, I don't think it's going to work out. You know, very civilized. And, and somewhere along the line, they just felt betrayed. I you take that as it resonates. Um, this person's in the cold, freezing. And the and and the funny thing is, is like I'm looking at this lantern, um, and I feel like this person was like that's how they feel, like they were left out in the cold, right? Very similar to a five of pentacles, five of pentacles energy, right? Which came out. Um, and then with the hermit, you know, they, they're both holding this lantern again. And no wonder I sense a five of mine. Okay. Makes sense. They're holding a light for you. It's like, even if you moved on or they moved on to whatever that may be, it could be, um, a, you know, anything it could be anything that distracted you uh, or you know person um, your cards are telling me a lot there's a lot of energy in some of your cards like so much like literally a storyline but I'm gonna keep it short um yeah there's this person still holding a, a light for you um You know, when I look at this little bird here, this um, maybe, sp I think they, I, I want to say sparrow, but whatever. This is a cute little bird. But the, the hermit is looking at this cute little bird, like holding this lantern, um, almost as if like, you know, um, you know, the hermit is usually caught by himself or herself, just walking with the staff, um, very isolated from the world. I do sense that a lot of you, if not a group of you, um, are, is very, you know, you guys are very isolated from society. I, I mean, for crying out loud, that's what the hermit means anyway. But, um, you know, you could just be isolated, you know, emotionally, mentally, all of the above, or physically. Like, you ain't trying to mess with nobody right now. Um, yeah, I do sense that for a group of you. You're not trying to deal with nobody. Um, you know, there's people that disappointed you. Are you just too busy, you know, to deal with like people, you know, in some shape, form or other? When I see this little bird, this little bird, you know how they always say, um, <laughs> Jesus, Leonora, what is that saying? Um, the little bird, like, uh, the gossiper, do you know what I mean? Like there's a gossiper, um, that goes back to... Oh God, you know, birds are, are messengers. They are, they're messengers. I, 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 and you know, it could be, um, you know, like, you know how birds were like the postal person. <laughs> if you want to send a, per, uh, a message, you know, wrap the paper, um, in the, um, on the hawk and the hawk will travel and give the message to, I don't even know how they were trained, but whatever. Hawks are actually very intelligent, but you know, they would send the hawk to send a message to the other person. Um, I, I sense two things, if not both. This person really wants to communicate like text message. I don't know why, I just sense more text message than any other communi any type of communication, but it doesn't have to be. They could communicate over social media. Um, I do sense that, you know, like they're thinking about it. They haven't done it. If they did, it's on a, It's for a small group of you. This person's hiding a lot of things that you don't know. And so um, with this little cute bird right here, um, you know, they have somebody that, um, if you have this person blocked, or they can look in your social media, or they, or, or they just want to inquire about you, um, you know, either by stalking, I sense like stalking. If I, that's not for all of you. And, and, and whatever I just said, as far as them inquiring about you in whatever way that they do it, that's what they do. That's what they're doing. Um, so 
um, it's funny because I feel like this is you, hermit, the hermit, you know, isolated from the world. And, and also this person who's still holding a light for you. Yeah, and this is what I mean. I'm, I'm catching like a lot of stories, not a lot, but a couple of stories for group, groups of you. And I'm not saying you're stalking them. You know, you, you may, it, God, stalking such, it's such a harsh word. Um, looking at social media, all right, let's, let's, you know, I, listen, I can sense stalking, okay, in, in the worst way. I don't sense stalking. I just sense that they're, you know, keeping tabs on, on you, okay? I don't know why I said that. Because I do feel, sometimes I do feel energies like, um, I'm sorry, this person's a stalker. <sighs> now, let's go to the first two energies. I don't know why I'm skipping. Sometimes I do that, whatever. I skip to the last two cards and I, I go to the first two cards. <sighs> I have the Emperor, you may be dealing with an Aries, Leo, they may have it in their chart, Taurus, um, Aries is very, it's, you know what, Aries and Leo are very prominent here, it doesn't have to be, if you know their birth chart, you know their, their birth chart, you know their placements, if you don't, you don't, don't worry, it could be in your placement, also the moon is here, so any water sign, <sighs> anyway, moving on. I don't like this energy, Emperor with the Sun in reverse. Mm -mm -mm. This is this is the Fool. I, I literally have the Fool right in front of me. I have not put it away in the spread that it belongs. It doesn't want to go anywhere. It's like no, Leonor. Just keep me in front of you, okay? <sighs> Jesus, the Emperor and the Sun in the reverse. What's going on? Let's see. Okay, so black magic. I'm sorry. Some type of magic. Not malicious. Not malicious. This person's not doing anything malicious to you. God, for, for crying out loud, they have feelings for you. Um, they manifest you. They listen to music that has to do with you. Um, so I don't want to, you know, I, I say I say black magic, but it could be any type of magic, right? Uh, whatever you take it as it resonates. I don't. I'm not trying to scare people, but whatever. If you're scared, you're scared. Um, you see how this person, like um, in my sun card, has his heart illuminated. I mean, for crying out loud, your whole read has to do with this person's emotions. It was in the reverse. They're doing some type of like magic, could be candle magic, could be manifesting, you know? Like a magician energy. I don't know. I, with my emperor, I sense magician. I sense devil energy. Um, again, not in a h horrible way, but then again, you're talking to somebody in the occult, right? And I I'm sure a lot of you are into the occult. You wouldn't be listening to tarot card readers. Uh, that's the occult. This person is very much in the occult. Uh, otherwise, they wouldn't be manifesting you with like whatever they do. Jesus, this person wants to be your husband, your wife. Um, they want to take it to the next level. You're not together. But once they grab a hold of you, okay, let me tell you something. Let's keep it a stack. <laughs> Do people still use that phrase? Uh, whatever, I'm old. Anyway, um... I don't know. If you're trying to get back with this person, this person, I, I, I sense romance. I do. I don't know why you guys broke up. Three of Swords, maybe third party. Three of Wands, maybe third party. I, I don't know. You know that more than me because I, I don't sense any malicious deception. Now, mind you, I'm, only on the, I'm still on the second spread. I don't know what's going to happen in the last spread. 
I don't sense anything so malicious. It's just that this person wants you back. Now, this is a, this is the kicker. If you want this person back in your life, if you take this person back, this person is not going to let you go. Do you understand it? I sense very possessive energy um, in some shape, form, or other. You know, it could be mild, you know, whatever, like chicken wings, you know, mild chicken wings mild chicken wings Ooh, excuse me. <clears throat> interesting I just cough um, mild chicken wings why that was it maybe somebody likes mild chicken wings mild maybe they were maybe when you guys were together it was like a mild type of possessiveness I think you guys already knew um, but maybe not to the extent um, of if you get back together with this person Especially with my Emperor card um, and my son in reverse. I, I, they're not going to let you go. They're going to be more possessive. The mild chicken wing is going to go to um, like chili, habanero, <laughs> spicy to the 10th power. You can't even, you, can, you get my point. They, they miss your, your passion, your sexual passion. They miss you um, when it comes to, um, again, playfulness. I, I sense that you guys played a lot. Um, maybe sometimes even during, you know, while you were making love. Yeah, I uh, take it as it resonates because I'm picking up a few energies again, you know, and I, I don't want to sound choppy, but, you know, it happens. It happens. I'm not, I don't feel like apologizing for it it just happens I don't know why I have to explain myself it just happens last spread <clears throat> you know what Sagis I'm not gonna lie because I never really explain myself when it comes to like tarot card reads the only part I really explain myself is the gender situation and you know I just want to you know make it clear for some people that are new to tarot that if, you, if, 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 if you see a depiction of a specific gender, it doesn't mean that I'm talking to that specific gender, right? Um, and I say that for new tarot card, um, uh, did I say readers? New tarot, no, people that are new to tarot cards, that's what I mean, right? That's what I, I'm sure I said that. And they may not know that I'm, I'm speaking um, because I feel the energy, not because I feel gender. <clears throat> Excuse me. Anyway, this person wants to talk to you. Um, the fuck was I going to say? I was going to say something. Jesus, Leonora, spirit guides, please help me. <sighs> I'm... Uh, I was going to say something important that had to do with people that are, and I can't remember. I don't take things as a coincidence, folks. <laughs> I know you're like, what the fuck is this wrong, wrong with this tarot card reader? Um, <clears throat> Jesus, I can't. All right, whatever. Um, I'll figure it out. Don't worry. It always comes to me. Ten of Swords, Four of Pentacles, the Empress. My Empress was in the reverse. They might have, this is for a small group of you, they might have gotten someone pregnant or, or they, you know, got themselves pregnant. Um, I don't know if they went full term. That's, you, you would know that more than me. Um, and, and these are for people that already know. These are for people that already know. Okay. It, uh, <clears throat> oh God. I'm not talking to people that, um, that are like, what? They got somebody else pregnant. No, you would know. You would know. This is not a secret. Okay. That was a very small group of you. And, and it broke your heart because you really 
you know, wanted to betrayal, right? You won't, you really wanted to hold on to the relationship. So now what are you going to do? You know, like, damn, you got somebody else pregnant. You know, there's nothing you could do about it, right? Um, but I sense that for a small group of you. That, you know, I it just came to me. <laughs> Listen, I have two Sag placements. Three, a three Sag placement. And I'm a so Scorpio Sag cusper, okay? So let's make it like three and a half. Now, I'm not trying to make fun of you, Saggies, because I love you. I have problem sometimes remembering because my mind is all over the place. That's a very Sagittarius trait. You, come, you go back and forth because we're trying to absorb information and give out information and worry about what are, what are we going to cook. At. You get my point. What I was going to say is that I don't take things as a coincidence. As a reader, I don't take things as a coincidence. There are, and I know I said this, there are a group of you that are dealing with two people. I know I said that somewhere. And if I didn't, I apologize because, again, I'm a Sag with air placement. Okay? And Sag is considered an air, um, an air element. Um you know it's a fire sign but it's like the air the air element of the fire sign if that makes sense it, it astrologers really consider it that way so we're always inside our mind and so um i don't take things as a coincidence you know and your reading is like kind of like a very sad read, like back and forth, back and forth. And I'm trying to figure out why am I back and forth? You know, why isn't this clear cut? Not that I'm saying all reads are clear cut, but every, not every card. A lot of these cards have a lot of, um, stop using the word a lot, Leonore. It's not a lot. Um, some of these cards have more than two energies you already saw how i'm reading it right and, and i was not trying to confuse anyone if it resonate one story with you then you know if you resonating with two stories then you know let me tell you something there are a group of you that are dealing with two people and that's why i'm fucking back and forth um if not three that's what i was gonna say see i knew it was gonna come to me And when I'm looking at the Empress, because this is how, let me tell you, this is how I remembered. The Empress usually means, um, it, it, mind you, because we did see the Emperor, right? The Emperor was in the upright, but my Empress came out in the reverse. So now we got a true pair, Emperor and Empress. Um, one of you left, just one of you walked away, right? That's why my Empress is in the reverse. It's like, they're over it. Goodbye. While the Emperor wants to start anew. This emperor has a couple of problems that are, I, I, it's hard for me to swallow. But I already told you, it's not malicious. It's just they really love you. Um, however, I did say if you do end up back with this person, they're going to get possessive times 10. I'm not, no joke, no lie. Jealous, obsessive. They're obsessive now. Forget about it. Obsessive is, is, is already here on the spread. But possessive and jealous, um, once they grab you, meaning once you commit to this person again, you'll see a different side of them. It's so funny because I just did a Gemini read, and the Gemini read was very similar to your sat to this reading. Like you're gonna see a different side to them if you get back with them. Um I don't know if you're dealing with a Gemini. Um, it is a mutable sign, um, just like Sag. Yeah, I got the Emperor and the Empress here. My Empress is not, my Empress have things to do. You know, again, this is another story. 
um, you know, she has things to do. And so with the Ten of Swords here, my Four of Pentacles, I, I sense that, you know, one of you was very faithful like really respected the relationship and then they they got betrayed okay so remember how I'm, i was saying the, the the one that the one that left the other person the one that said deuces goodbye yeah it was fun but we're not I, i'm not trying to you know continue the relationship and so they feel betrayed ain't that a bitch they feel betrayed and they they they're the one with the three of swords and the three of wands it's not for all of you. I'm sure it wasn't a third party energy. I'm sure they didn't get someone, you know, um, knocked up or you got knocked up or whatever the case may be, you know? It's not for all of you. But you felt betrayed. You were really expecting something very solid from my Four of Pentacles, right? But you moved on to other things, other projects, investment, relationships. Yeah, my Empress in Reverse, um, you know, there's nothing malicious about both of you. I, honestly, you guys, I think you were amazing. It's just that one was, one lost a relationship for no reason. Maybe, you know, things happen, whatever. Didn't I send some type of karmic situation here going on? Oh, God. I always try to look back at the cards to see. Oh, my ancestor. Yes. The Hierophant. It was like a karmic relationship. You both taught each other a lesson to level up, if that makes sense. You know, to like, I learned a lesson. Next time, I'll, I'll make sure not to do this or do this um, when I get into a relationship or when it comes to myself as a, you know, as an individual. Five of, pen, um, five of cups. I got five of cups. My last clarifier. Um, nine of cups and uh, king of swords Ooh, king of swords um, <clears throat> king, of, king of swords was the only one in the upright it is the fool it is the fool um, this person really listen this was a confirmation with um, where is it with my hermit card remember how i was just you know into this bird energy right um this is just a confirmation for me with the king of swords um they're seeking information on you uh, I, I, they want to talk to you yes we got that established but they're seeking uh, they, listen maybe i said stalking for a reason okay for some of you that is what's going on um my nine of yeah look at this look at this my nine of pentacles was in the reverse this is fucking black magic Let's look at this manifestation you know um i didn't sense really bad you know dark magic they don't want to do you wrong um but it could be even to the point where they're doing candle work like i hope that this person doesn't move on to you know someone else it, I sense this person knows what they're doing. But I want to make it very clear that it's not malicious. They just want you back. I, listen, you can't be doing that. Change is changing people's lives. That's karma. This is just, all right, whatever. Um, and then I have my five of cups. Um, this is you. <laughs> God, I don't mean to laugh. You're having a good time. You're isolated. Remember, you're like, yeah, I'm by myself. I'm getting. I'm, I'm not going into relationships. I'm gonna just work on myself with the hermit card. Um, you know, that was one of the energies. Five of Cups is like two things. Again, I'm sensing two things. You moved on to another relationship, and you're happy as hell. You're like, yeah, I love this relationship, or you know, I I I can't wait to further the relationship. Um, you may be working on a project. You may be working on yourself. Um, and the pentagram is really, it's really, look at this. The pentagram reminds me of the of the magic. There's a meaning, a couple of meanings with this pentagram, I, besides the pentacles, right in tarot. Um, but the remember I was saying. Um, Candle, candle magic, 
Nevertheless, that's you jumping for joy for, for whatever reason. You would know that. All right. Love you, Saggies. Bye.